Hello, everybody, welcome to somebody, everybody plays Ace Attorney Trilogy episode 48. 48 episodes, man, that's a lot. I mean, I didn't split them up like I did with Danganronpa, so that's probably why. Which means we're gonna be at like, there's gonna be over 100 Ace Attorney Trilogy episodes. For sure. So. I keep forgetting that sometimes you gotta show people your attorney's badge for them to say shit to you. But she's stupid, so that doesn't work on her. Okay, whatever. Whatever, man, and there was nothing in here. We already, like, looked at everything in here. It's like, it's just like, sometimes I just don't know what to do anymore. Like, like it feels like I've talked to everybody, I've presented everything I can present. And then, it's like, we're still waiting on Mo. Where the hell is Mo? He's not in his room. Like, hello? Come on, you flashed that badge at me so many times, it doesn't work anymore. Why don't you try wearing a different badge every now and again? Well, I do have a Steel Samurai badge with me. How about that one? Uh, I'll only wear it if Detective Gumshoe carries a Steel Samurai police badge. Then it's a deal. I hear that Detective Gumshoe has that very badge. What? D don't look at me like that. You're making me nervous. Yeah, that didn't help at all. God. Hey, what if I give you some stuff that you can't do that you won't talk about because... Ugh. I don't understand. Mo's room is still empty. But I have to talk to him if I want to get to Max's uh, Cyclox stuff. Yeah, like we already tried all that shit. So, uh, hello. Look, he's not even here anymore. What do you want me to do? Maya, I'm a lawyer. Well, your badge is still shining. Barely. It may be showing a bit of wear, but I try to take good care of this thing. You sure do love to show that off, don't you, Nick? Who knows how many times you've shown it to me. She's right. I whip it out at the drop of a hat. Yes, he does. Wait, what are they talking about again? <laughs> oh, man. I've already d any ideas, everything. Already did all that. Already did all that, man. Already did it. Yeah, that led to the stuff, and then we, we've examined everything as well. Talk to me about your dad! Talk to me about Max. It's Max! Hey, where is Max now anyways? You don't know? Nope. He's been arrested. He was charged with the murder of your father. It's okay. Nick and I will help him. Max isn't the guy, is he? I mean, the criminal? Of course he's not. I'm worried about so many things right now. Hmm, like what? <laughs> um, don't be giggling at me. Talk to me about yourself. Alright! I look so cute in this picture! Don't you think I look cute? Don't ya? Don't ya? You sure do. No, no objections here. Okay, Phoenix, she's a bit young for you, but, you know. Oh, what's on your mind? Here we go. Regina, what's the matter? What's on your mind? <laughs> I'll tell you, Maya, but just you. Ah. Um, well... <laughs> what? Really? And then... <laughs> Oh my, that's incredible, Regina! Come on, Nick, there's no reason to pout. Don't worry about me. Regina told me that someone professed their love to her. P professed their love? Not only that, it was Maximilian Galactica. I wonder how many people have stolen one of his hearts anyways. And then, on the exact same day, another person professed their love for her as well. What? Who was it? Someone named Trilo. Trilo? Trilo? Apparently he's a tenor who sings in the circus. Hmm, haven't met him yet. Regina seems to be quite the hit with the men in the circus. She must have some sort of strange power over them. 
oh my god, is Trilo the murderer so he could frame Maximilian for the crime? Nah, it's too easy. You're not kidding, two people in one day. Even I want to profess my love for her. Me too, she's so cute. Dude, Phoenix, you need to stop. <laughs> I mean, if this was taking place in Washington, then, like, yeah, age of consent is 16 over here. Lucky me. Just kidding. Trilo. All right, now that we know that, that didn't give us any more information. Didn't give us, like, a profile of anybody. But maybe now something else is available somewhere else. Nope, still can't look in your coat pocket for some reason. I mean, whatever, man. Um, uh, back to the circus entrance. Oh, here we go! Huh? Hey, Nick, look over there! What? There's someone over there! I ex excuse me! Oh, you must be Trilo, aren't you? Dude, he's disgusting. What the hell's going on with him? Hello? Wow, he sure is a quiet one. Excuse me! What? Huh? Huh? Me? Yes, you work at the circus, don't you? No, I'm just your everyday average Joe. An average Joe who just happens to hang out at the circus? I don't think so. Yes, I am. I've got nothing to do with what's going on here. He's lying, like any regular person would hang around the circus, dressed like that. I'm an attorney. My name is Phoenix Wright. I'm a spirit medium. My name's Maya. Well, I, uh, just happen to be, um, passing by. I don't suppose you happen to be some kind of carny. Not a carny. I'm a performer. Actually, I'm a ventriloquist. Ventriloquist? Not a tenor, so you're not Trilo? Ventriloquist? <laughs> I'm B Benjamin w Woodman. Your last name is Woodman? <laughs> yes, that's right. But everyone calls me B B B B Ben. Ah, yes, yes, yes. That's your alias, right? I believe they call it a stage name. Oh, so you are Trilo? But you're not Trilo, but you're somebody else, but you're a ventriloquist? I don't know, man. Excuse me, Ben? Uh, yes, you mean me? About the murder. I'd like to talk to you about the details, if I may. Really, I'm just a regular, normal guy. I don't... No. You can't... You can't stutter the K in no. It's silent, you dolt. Ah, uh ah, -huh. ah. This guy's so nervous, he's creeping me out. Nick, cheer up. Just try and smile. Would you mind telling us something about Max? Maximilian Galactica. M -m 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 Max? Uh, he's n not very nice. Did he just say that Max is not very nice? Oh, 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 ow. My head hurts. Yikes. I hope he's okay. He sounds like he just popped a gasket. Ben, so you're a ventriloquist? Uh, I'm j j just a regular guy. You already told us that you were a ventriloquist. Oh, y yes. Nick, don't yell at him. You can't do that. I can't help it. He's making me nervous. Ben, would you mind showing me some of your skills as a ventriloquist? Well, I... Right now, m m my... P uh, I... Why? Uh, he's contagious. Would you mind taking a look at this? Uh, um, uh, I... I guess we won't need you to look at this after all. Mind taking a look at this? No. Okay, mind taking a look at the crime photo? No? Alright. No crime photo for you. Would you mind taking a look at the Max G promo poster? No, no Max G promo poster. Would you mind taking a look at how much goddamn money Max makes? No, you don't want to take a look at that either, huh? Okay, well, there's nothing I can do for you, then. There's nothing I can do for you. 
I've presented you everything I have. And you know what? It's time to go to the lodging house because maybe Mo's got some info on you. Hey, do, what do you know about... No, you don't know anything about this guy? No. Actually, maybe I'm supposed to introduce somebody's profile to him. Probably should have done that first. Let's see, who can we ask you about? Ask me about, or ask him about Max. No, nothing about Max. How about Regina Berry? Don't know anything about Regina Berry. What do you know about Russell Berry? Nothing about, dude. Do you know anything about yourself? This dude is a worthless piece of crap. Kill him. Just let him die. To Moe's room. Here we go. Hello? Kablamo! Congratulations! You're the big winner! The one millionth visitor to the room of one Mr. Mo Curls, aka me! Earplugs must find earplugs. To celebrate this momentous occasion, would you care for an organic grape? Just one? Did you get my joke right there? <laughs> I welched on giving you more than one! <laughs> um... No, no, no. If it was funny, it is your duty as a human being to laugh. People who don't laugh are usually last seen in Lansing. Catch my drift? <laughs> um... Maya? <laughs> this is like some Faustian nightmare. Faustian, whatever. Come on, it was funny. Clowns are always funny in my book. In my book, they're just funny looking. You sure do have great taste in clothes, girly. Look at that garb. You look just like Greta Garb. Oh! <laughs> I'm going home. No, Nick, you can't. You know, I can excuse a bad joke or two, but this stooge keeps laughing at his own jokes. That's what I object to. Okay, okay, I get it. But you have to admit he is kind of funny. Uh, no, I do not have to admit that, because he isn't. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude, even his hat has a smiley face on it. This is nonsense. Could you please tell us more about the Berry Big Circus? It's a very big story! You sure you got that kind of time? And the hits just keep on coming. This circus has been in business for 20 years! We all performed under the guidance of the ringmaster, Russell Berry! 20 years? Wow! Working in the circus is never easy, especially nowadays. With movies, TV, and bowling, there's just too much competition! But... but... I love the circus! I love it too! That is why I've been here for 20 years! We work hard to keep the show running. No one sends in the clowns on us! Nick, he just made a joke! Laugh! Har! Har 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 har! The ringmaster was a real big shot in the circus world. A real class act. Even when there were no customers, Russell would use his own money to pay me. Because he knew that I had a family to care for. He was happy to take care of his employees. I see. How could anyone do that to such a wonderful man? Mo, Wiggity 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 what? Ugh. I'm sorry, Mo. Nick was born without a sense of humor. Don't worry about it. How can you fault someone for being born that way? Let's talk about the murder. Ah, let's see. It must have taken place around 10 p.m. last night. After rehearsals were finished, I was Tucker out, so I came back here. After I went to bed, that's when I caught a peek of it. Caught a peek? Of the crime. Just as we suspected. This guy's the eyewitness to the crime. You say you saw the crime. Do you mind telling me what you saw? Well, the police told me that I can't share my story with others. Don't say a word, pal. I'm just gonna have to let these lips stay zipped. That's not fair! I guess you're right. Maybe I can tell you a few details. But only if you can get old Stiff Lips here to make with the funny! Stiff Lips? Wait, do you mean me? 
Nick, you can do it! <clears throat> What's the matter? Just getting ready. Okay, do you know why I, Phoenix Wright, am a great lawyer? Because I'm right all the time! At least his expectations are low. I wouldn't let him quit his day job. Yeesh, cut a guy some slack. At least it was funnier than Chuckles over here. It wasn't the greatest joke I've heard, but you did try, so I'll tell you what I saw. I'm sorry he's incapable of being funny, Mo. That night, once I had tucked myself into bed, I heard this amazing noise. It was incredibly loud. It sounded like a giant thump! Once I heard it, I jumped out of bed. That's when I saw... Without question, without a doubt, it was that magician! That's all I saw, but it just proves how terrible that man actually is! He knows more about Max than he's letting on. The Ringmaster was truly ahead of his time. He would always add new elements to the show. New elements? When you've been a performer for a long time, your act starts getting a bit stale. Hmm. I realize that even my act can get a bit long in the tooth. Sometimes my jokes can be a bit, um, old-fashioned. A bit long in the tooth? But that make-believer takes things too far. Make-believer? The magician! The one that thinks he's all high and mighty! He had the gall to say to me, you're one of those funny types, right? What does he mean, one of those? Well, the joke's on him now. On him? Yep, he got on everyone's nerves. The day of the murder... Go ahead. Nope, no way. Just forget I said anything. I bet he's still hiding something about Max. Well, can we present anything else to you? Huh! <laughs> if he thinks he can kill the Ringmaster, it's only just that he should die too! Mo? Sorry, uh, I crossed the line. But he truly is a disgusting human being. Why do you hate him so much? Let me tell you this one story. The morning before the murder, something terrible happened. Max clonked Ben right over the head, as hard as he could! Ben? The ventriloquist with the speech impediment? You should go to the cafeteria and investigate for yourselves! The cafeteria? Let's just say there's gotta be something interesting there! Ah! <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, the very big circus is very big, isn't it? You should always carry a map with you to get around. Ah, thank you. Um, this is an atlas. <laughs> oh, I kill myself. Really, I'm dying here. Coronary! Coronary! Now he's just laughing to hear his own voice. What do you think about Regina? That's the ringmaster's daughter, Regina. Ever since she was a little girl, she's been watching the circus performances. Cuter than a little puppy Maltese, that Regina. If only my Lorena was that cute. Lorena? Ah, uh, Lorena's my daughter. She lives with her mother now. It's true what they say about the tears of a clown. Damn, he divorced. Damn straight. I've been friends with Russell since even before the circus began. He was so selfless. He always thought about others before thinking of himself. I'll find a way to return the favor. He always took such good care of me. I wish I would have thanked him more than I did. Ah, Ben! How's he doing? He's a ventriloquist, isn't he? That's right! Boy, was I surprised when they told me his secret! He's got a second mouth where his belly button should be! <laughs> Just kidding! Ben wouldn't tell me a single thing about the murder. Ah, that's a simple problem to solve. He won't talk if he doesn't have his puppet Trilo. Trilo? If Ben doesn't have his ventriloquist puppet, you'll barely get a word out of him. Really? Hmm, master and puppet. Oh, so Ben... Oh, so Trilo is a puppet, but also like a tenor... So she was just talking about his character then. 
But then that just means that Ben likes her. He's 31 years old, though, so that's, you know, no thank you. You are 46? Holy shit. Tell me about yourself. Ah! What's the matter? Whenever I see my own nose, I'm reminded of my Italian heritage. Ah, I see. It must be because you have one of those Roman noses. Roman all over your face! I didn't cross the line there, did I? You went so far past it, you'll need a map to get back. God damn, that was racist. <laughs> nice. Damn, Italian, I didn't know that. Hey! Sh I mean, should we change his voice a little bit to like reflect that? I mean, we can keep the voice and just add the accent. But we're done talking to you anyway, so. Um. Where's Trilo? Alright, we have to find him, I guess. So they said to look at the cafeteria. Let me look at the map. Ringmaster's room, cafeteria, big circus top. Okay, so from the ringmaster's room we go to the cafeteria, probably? Let's head on over! Oh, what if I present this dude's profile to you? Ah, uh, that guy! His name is Ben, right? Huh? You don't know him? I don't know. He didn't really catch my eye. He's friends with Trilo, right? Wait. We're the ones asking the questions around here. How would you know Ben but not Tr er, Trilo but not the person doing him? That's Mo! He's such a funny clown! He's been a good friend of my dad for a really long time now. He was good friends with the Ringmaster? My dad always said, when it comes to who I can entrust the circus to, it's definitely Mo. Hmm. Yep, that clown is one lovable stooge. Don't you think so, Nick? Um, no comment. Damn, well, what if Mo did it now? If Mo wanted to get Max out of the way because Max was some kind of, like, threat to him inheriting the circus or something. <laughs> Cafeteria, there we go. Ooh, it's a bit messy in here. Ew, this place is gross. This must be because of last night. They didn't have time to clean up after dinner because of the murder. That reminds me. What was it that Mo said? He said that yesterday morning Max clonked Ben over the head here. He also said that there's gotta be something interesting there. Nick, what's gotta be interesting? Don't ask. Hmm. Huh. The kitchen is over here. Everyone must have taken turns cooking. There's a duty list posted here. I wouldn't mind trying my hand at cooking for this many people. Maya's killer hamburger. You'd try it, wouldn't you? It looks like they've left it exactly as it was on the night of the murder. They didn't seem too worried about cleaning up the dishes, did they? Hmm, looking at all these dishes is making me hungry. Let's go get a burger at the snack stand outside. Once we're finished with the case, all right, then let's get this over with, Nick. Here we go! Whoa! Where's the mute button when you need it? This is strange. There's nothing on top of this stand. Look here. Max is written on it. Must be his VIP table. Isn't a bit small to be a VIP table? P table? P table. You won't be putting a 10 course meal on this. Well, he could still eat hamburgers, right? is a tiny table. That would not be a VIP table. Keep our cafeteria clean. Doesn't seem like anyone ever read this sign, huh? Maybe they should make it easier to understand. Clean it or die! Well, that would definitely make them clean up. There are dirty dishes all over the place. It must have been too hectic last night to clean up. You know I can't stand a mess, Nick. I think you and I should clean this place up for them. Why do we have to clean up? One, because I hate dirty cafeterias. Two, because one bears repeating. But 
this is a crime scene. We can't clean it up. We have to preserve it for evidence. Ah, uh, you know I really hate dirty cafeterias. Not as much as I hate cleaning dirty cafeterias. <sighs> Damn, true fact. What's this? Must be a juice bottle or something. Uh, watch out, Nick! There's broken glass all over the floor! Hmm. A broken bottle just lying in the middle of the floor. Do you think it means anything? There's gotta be something interesting there. Huh? Looks like we're going to have to go back and meet with him. Him? I mean, that must be what was clonked over the head, although clonked isn't the word I would use. Crashed? You know? Smashed? Crushed? The chair has been knocked over. That's what it looks like. It almost looks as if someone knocked it over in a struggle or used it for self-defense. Or maybe Regent just likes to eat his dinner in the cafeteria? Ah, a bulletin board. For, um, bulletins. It doesn't look like there are any useful clues posted here. Boring. Maybe we should leave a juicy tidbit for someone to read. Juicy? You know, like a fake clue. Hmm, maybe something like, message from the killer. Give it up, Maya. You know Gumshoe would take it all seriously. We sure this is an orange juice bottle? Hey, you wouldn't happen to know about this bottle, would you? Ah, I just need to talk to Trio, you freaking personality problem having person. Dude, I hate seasonal allergies, I will tell you what. They are not fun! Like, I'm not sneezing a lot, but you just feel that presence in your nose. Like, it's just nasty. What do you think about this? Anything come to mind? Ah, you want some advice on your development as a comedian, right? I see. Well, this is what you do. When you tell a joke, imagine everyone's wearing underwear and dancing at the Lamboria. Um, I think that's enough advice for now. Nick, he was giving you good advice. Don't be so close-minded. I don't understand. I thought we were, he said we were supposed to go see him again. Oh, did he mean not you? Oh, we're supposed to talk to Max again? All right. What, do we officially have enough evidence to like psych-lock him all the way? Yes, we could. Oh, it's my two sweeties. Welcome to the detention center. <sighs> Did he just call me his sweetie again? What's on today's agenda? What can I help you with? Well, we've gathered quite a few clues. Wonderfully fantabuloso! I mean, fabulous. That's why we came to meet with you again. W what's wrong? Quit making such scary face. Okay then, Max. Let's make this absolutely fabulous. <laughs> what, we can tell you this things again? We heard a lot about you at the circus, Max. Ah, oh, you must mean from the dinosaurs. How were those Jurassic geriatrics? Max, you aren't very popular with the other performers, are you? Yes, 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 sweetie, that's what they call jealousy. G, I mean, <laughs> G... J-E-A-L-O-U-S-Y. They are absolutely jealous of my absolutely fabulous self. People who really understand can see the obvious differences between us. People who really understand? For instance, my sweetie pie. Hmm, so Regina understands him, huh? I plan on getting married to her. She is truly my sweetie pie princess. Wow, that's so cool. It's already in the works. Oh? That's strange. Regina never said anything about actually marrying this joker. That's right, this dude's only 21. If the age of consent is 16, there's nothing, like, below board here. It's all above board. It's just... 
like where this is supposed to take place exactly. I mean, like, okay, so this is the English localization, right? So this is America, but what state is this in? What state is the is this in? You know, like that's important. I guess you should just assume that it's like Washington or like any of the other places. There's 16. I think like Minnesota 16, maybe. Places like that. You met with the ringmaster on the night of the murder? Yes, I was with him around 10 p.m. Once I was done with practice, I went to his room right after we finished. They found the ringmaster's body in the plaza in front of the lodging house. Yeah, I heard about that. He needed to step out for a bit, so I waited in his room for him to return. Huh? Sorry, Max. I have something I must attend to right now. Do you mind waiting for me right here? It's pretty cold outside. Where's your coat? It's all right. I'll be right back. It should only take about ten minutes. And then? I waited for him, but he never came back. Did he go to the plaza where the body was discovered? Possibly. The snow had tapered off a bit, but it was still very cold outside. But I had no idea what he went off to do. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, my sweetie pie. She must be really lonely with me all cooped up in here. Actually, she was laughing and rolling around with her tiger. She is my special someone, and I am her special someone. Uh-huh. Very complex. I can't believe a guy with that ugly mug is after my sweetie pie princess. Especially after she has eluded my charms for such a long time. There isn't much you can do about that, right? Hm. You haven't even been truly in love, have you? Um... When you were truly in love with someone, you'd be jealous of their mirror because it traps their image inside. Ah, don't you think that's sweet of him, Nick? I'm gonna get back with my sweetie pie. Then I'm gonna turn that dumb puppet into a toy glider. I guess you two haven't worked out your differences yet. <laughs> what about this person? Fortunately, don't take on apprentices. I mean, just look at the face on this one, not what I call fabulous. Damn. Just between you and I, he's he wasn't a bad guy at all. I can say that for sure. That's the first time I've ever heard you say something nice about someone, Max. He must have really been a nice guy. Interesting. But we definitely don't have... everything. We gotta find Trilo, that's the thing. Like, dude, where's your damn puppet? Like, there's nothing I can talk to you about either. We already presented him to you. If we go to Moe's room, nothing else I can talk to you about. We already presented Ben to you. But I guess now we would try and talk to Regina about Max. Nope, you don't have any other talking points there. It's Max! Hey, where is Max now anyways? You don't know? Oh, he's- oh yeah, we already did that. Read about so many things. Yeah, already- okay. No, I guess we just have to Magatama. There's nothing else to do. You know, we learn more about Russell, but that doesn't make anything in here any more relevant. Come back here, nobody's here. We already examined everything in here. So there's nothing going on there, so we go back to Max. Back to Max. Even though I'm sure we're missing stuff. Because there's still things we don't know. Anyway. I mean, he looks all nervous. Maybe now's the time. 
Now's the time to get him off his game. I present to you, Maya's Magatama. I just don't like how there's three locks. That's what's throwing me right now. If it was two, I'd be like, okay, yeah, we'd probably do two. Last night, you met with the ringmaster, correct? To negotiate your salary and such. Exactly. We reached an agreement about the salary for my six-month-old contract. That's the truth? The whole truth? What do you mean? You just went to his office to negotiate your new salary? I hate lies, and I hate liars even more. What are you insinuating? Do you have any proof that I did something other than negotiate my fee last night? Th th that's It was on the table in the ringmaster's room. You weren't lying when you said that you received quite a raise. Is there a problem with being well compensated? Not with the compensation, just with the date. This is dated a week ago. Max, you finished your contract negotiations a week ago. F fabulous <laughs> All right, I'll tell you the truth. That night, the ringmaster called me to his room. He called you? Why did he do that? Sorry, sweetie. That's private. The ringmaster called him. I wonder if there was some sort of problem. Um, Max? Perhaps you could share with me what you two spoke about? Well, not if I don't have to. Isn't this why the ringmaster called you into this room last night? Isn't this? Isn't this? If I had to guess... I would say that the Ringmaster was totally not into the romance of Regina and Max. But we haven't seen anything about that. So I wonder if this will work anyway. Like this is just, this is a straight up guess because I guarantee, like we haven't found the evidence yet. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, so it wasn't that. Some sort of problem. <sighs> this is last night, is the difference between last night and this morning. Like, this morning was when Ben got clonked on the head. Or was this morning... Did she say... When people told her that they loved her, was that yesterday or today? I don't remember. I don't know. I don't have the evidence yet. Sorry! Yeah, see, we need more clues. There's nothing else... Uh, cause we have to haven't found Trilo yet! Wherever the fuck he is. Is he just like hiding somewhere? And it's like a Where's Waldo sort of thing? Streamers do a nice job introducing the circus performers. Maximilian Gladke and his comical comrades! You know, you don't really see too many streamers nowadays, do you? I mean, I see him on YouTube and Twitch all the time, but you know. You're right! I haven't seen one in ages. I bet they stopped using him due to little kids climbing up to the top. Um, I don't think that was why. <laughs> Let's see... Where is Trilo? I can't imagine. Did we ever examine this area? I don't think we did. This is the only place that the snow has been trounced upon. The murderer was sloppy, leaving all these prints all over. No, 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 no. We're the ones who left the prints. Uh, an investigation can be a messy thing sometimes. What? I also slipped and fell in that spot over there. Uh, the other detectives all got a good laugh when the prosecutor whipped me. Thank God there was all this snow around to bring down the swelling. It's great to know that the police aren't worried about preserving the evidence. This year, I finally won an air conditioner. What? You didn't have an air conditioner? Did you ride your Triceratops to work, too? And what do you mean you won an air conditioner? You didn't buy it? I can't afford one of those things, uh, but I got lucky and won it as a door prize at the annual police Christmas party. They really pay you peanuts, don't they? 
Peanuts? I don't even get paid enough for peanut butter, let alone peanuts. The safety lights around the circus are kept on all night long, so they should have been on at the time of the murder. So we saying the murder took place in the light? How strange. How strange indeed. Hmm. There's some evidence under the tarp over there. Hey, watch it, pal. The killer is behind that tarp. Ah! <laughs> gotcha. I was just kidding. <laughs> oh, that's it. Okay, well, I didn't examine this place, and it looks like there was no reason for me to. Got straight nothing out of this. Ah! Oh, sniffing. Why, hello there. Is there anything else I can present to you? What do you think about this map? No, you don't know anything about the map? All right. You know about this broken bottle? No? Okay. I mean, you say you can't tell me, but, you know... He's, uh, he already said he got all the profiles, so we weren't supposed to talk to him about any other people. Oh, Mo! What, they want us to look at all this stuff again? Now that he's here? Oh, great. Mo, you've got quite the collection of pajamas. They really scream out to you. You think they're loud, huh? I kinda thought they were refined. You know, a bit too adult for me to use on stage. That's why I used them as a pajamas. Wait a second, he sleeps in clown costumes? I look awfully snazzy in these costumes. Um, did you just use the word snazzy in a sentence? I sure did! These are haute couture from the best international clown designers! At least that's what they said on the TV shopping channel I use. I like having a big collection so I can match my costume to my mood and my carrot. <laughs> you know, I only own one t-shirt. The rest are all clown costumes. Snazzy dresser? More like spazzy dresser if you ask me. Carrots are one of my trademark props! Yep, I saw you use them. You must believe in a carrot and no stick approach. You put the carrot out in front for motivation, but I guess the trick is gauging what flavor you want each day. Exactly! You really were paying attention, weren't you? You know, I eat about five of those carrots every single day. If you eat that many, you've got to change up the taste every now and again. I didn't understand any of that, nor do I ever want to. Take a look at my desk. Aren't I the most studious clown you've ever seen? Every free moment I have, I spend it studying or reading. The classic pull my finger or clown car maintenance and repair. Not to mention the bestseller Jean-Luc de la Duc's Guide to Obnoxious French Pierros. Um, they all seem to cover rather basic topics, though. Maybe he's just trying to cover all of his bases? Exactly! I want to be a Renaissance clown! Too bad he didn't buy How to Be a Funny Clown. What's this? A banana peel? Slips. Oh my! Oh my, what a wonderful fall, girly! You should remember that when you see a banana peel, get ready to fall down! That is one of the basic tenets of clownsmanship. Ow, 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 ow. Every night, I fall down a hundred times to practice the proper banana peel break ball. Th those weren't the right words. Whoa! Slip! Whoa! Slip! Wow, he really is a pro, huh, Nick? His falls are totally different than my slip. Us clowns really take our work seriously. I try to hone my craft day and night with the latest in the Jessica technology. Unicycles, trampolines, balancing balls, accordions. It looks like you've put quite a bit of wear and tear on that equipment. Well, the theme of my act as a clown is, how many ways can a fat funny guy fall down? I don't care what I break or how I break it as long as it ends with me on my bum. <laughs> Uh, 
There's a hole in the ceiling. Why is there a hole in the ceiling? Well, um... I was riding a pogo stick, and uh, I guess I just uh, overdid it a little. Overdid it a little? What can I say? Sometimes things get a bit crazy in one's college days. Huh? talk about I presented to you everything I presented you to the broken bottle I presented him the broken bottle didn't I you're kidding me if I didn't go and present him with the broken bottle because I got sidetracked dude there's no way in hell Let's sign this one Oh, see, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. It's fine. Oh my god, who knows about this broken bottle? I already tried to present it to you, and you wouldn't tell me about it. Even though you're the one who was hit in the head with it. I presented it to friggin' Mo. Presented it to you. You don't know anything about a bottle. You don't like hard things. I don't understand. Dude, this is ridiculous. You know what? I'm going to end the episode, and I'm not going to look up what to do now. I'm just going to figure it out on my own. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.